Hi everybody, West Leg here coming to you live again this evening uh, with another special guest that I'll be bringing on board here in just a few moments. She'll be joining us from Marion, Illinois, uh, Saluki at heart, and she will be sharing her story, her battle with depression, and the changing point in her life. At what point she finally said, enough's enough, it's time, it's a breaking point in life. She'll be joining us here in just a few moments, and her name is Rachel Clark. Rachel should be joining us here in just a few minutes. Again, I continue to do these lives with one reason. Mine is I want to get the word out about Moringa Olifera. And if you've never taken the time to listen to one of my Facebook lives, I highly encourage you to listen to the story tonight Rachel's about to share with you. Hi, Rachel. Hey, how are she, you? She will share with you how Moringa Olifera There, I'm back. I, I've got. I'm a. I'm experiencing network issues right now. I was originally set up to go outside. And I just last minute moved everything inside. Hey guys, Moringa olifera. Uh, it's been researched heavily, researched by science and heavily researched by many of the colleges and universities around the United States. Their findings and results can be found throughout the internet. Any thoughts? Uh, a quick way, an easy way to find out what moringa is. Just ask Google or Siri what the most nutritional plant in the world is, and the result will astound you just like it did me when I did that the first time. I'm sure Rachel experienced that as well. Moringa is called Nebadai in African culture. In the African languages, many of them call Moringa Nebadai, which means never die. And there's a reason for that. Uh, the Moringa tree grows in the climates and areas where nothing else survives. Truly drought-stricken areas in the tropics and subtropical areas. It's been around since 2,000 years before Christ. They have it recorded in history, used for medicinal purposes, used as skin protectant against sun. They used it as uh, ointments, and they also used it for perfumes and things of that nature. So Moringa Olofera is nothing new to the Eastern world, but is somewhat new here to us in the United States because... Here in the United States, we really have moved on, right, to an industrialized world in which everything is a quick fix. So I invite you to listen in to Rachel. Rachel Lewis Clark and her husband, Dion, have been married for five years. Um, it's kind of funny. I say kind of funny. Maybe we'll kind of talk about that tonight in our interview. We, uh, we believe in attraction and the power of attraction. It's kind of funny how we met up. We both have read the same books and share the same viewpoints on many things in life, and it's really neat how... How people are collected that way. Rachel spent 18 years in television or in newspaper and radio ads. Uh, she fought depression for most her entire life. And Rachel, I thank you for sharing with us tonight. I know this is hard on you, and I don't mean to tear you up. I've seen some of your recent uh, stories, and they are heartfelt and touching. For Marion, Indy, uh, Marion Illinois, a Bear fan. A Southern, a Southern Illinois Saluki fan, right? Yeah. I'm going to turn it over to Rachel. Rachel, share with us, maybe start at the beginning, wherever you would like, and share with us where you were in life and how you came across Moringa Olafera. But give us a little of your story first so that we really can see the impact it had on your life. Um, well, first of all, thank you, Wes, for um, asking me to join you. And, yeah, it's all about that law of attraction. And... Um, so as you had touched on, most of my life, I battled depression, and it really started at a very young age. And I had, um, throughout my life, been on and off different medications, um, been to different doctors, and nothing ever really seemed to help. And I always you know, I had no self-confidence. I never really felt like that I fit in anywhere. And I just always felt like something was missing on the, on the inside of me. And um, at, the, at the point, at, I got this fly. <laughs> <messing with me. laughs> um, at a point in my life where I just really didn't see any hope at all. And that I tried to end my own life 
um, because I just felt so hopeless. And when I just couldn't imagine going on the rest of my life feeling that way. And um, I just wanted it to end. And at this point in time in my life, I, I didn't have a relationship with God. I pretty much um, turned my back on that a lot, many years beforehand. And, but now looking back, I know that he was watching over me. And there's a reason that he spared, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> that he spared me that night. Um, but it didn't mean that my journey got any easier. Uh, I still continued to struggle just for many, many years. And uh, it wasn't really until I was given the book, uh, The Secret, I guess it's been almost 10 years ago. And that really opened things up for me a little bit. And really, um, because I did not have that relationship with God, I, I understood about the law of attraction. And it really, even though that was a journey that was on and off for many years, that book has always been my staple because whenever I would, you know, really start going through a bad time, I had that book that I would go back to and you know, read through it. And again, really just think about the law of attraction. Um, but over the years, I still struggled, as I said, with with the depression and the anxiety. And through all this, um, I was also living off of ibuprofen. And I had um, constant head tension <laughs> where multiple times a month I was in bed with in a dark room and was just in so much pain among a Rachel, few hours. not to interrupt is this something you were are you talking in your high school years or are you talking in your 20s um throughout your whole entire life I sorry I, to interrupt I no that's okay I always pretty much dealt with um I, you know I probably was taking ibuprofen even at a young age or Tylenol or something. It was always, you know, I, I just, I don't ever really remember a time in my life where I ever felt good. So it was just a mixture, you know, that started at a young age with, you know, really not feeling good. Um, and I did deal with some health struggles when I was younger. Um, I had, a rare form of cancer when I was third, I think it was 13. And um, so there was just different things throughout my whole life that I that I was struggling with. And then um, when Dion, my husband and I, when we got together, um, I finally felt like that things were starting to go right in my life. But I felt like I was still missing something on the inside of me and then um i was still dealing with of course the depression and the anxiety and ended up with an anxiety attack that ended um i ended up in the er from it because i didn't know it was that extreme and i didn't know what it was and was put on some anxiety medicine and I was still, I was taking Xanax on top of that. And then I was taking anxiety medicine and like in a very short period of time, I gained weight, <laughs> um, literally like out of the blue, it was one week I could wear a certain pair of pants and the next week I couldn't even button them and went back to the doctor and, and, uh, the nurse had even mentioned about the weight gain and I knew and when the doctor came in she was like that's one of the side effects and I was like okay nobody told me that um <laughs> but I didn't do my research either that that was I was at a point in time in my life where um I just would go to the doctor and that's all I knew what to do and um so I, I came off that medication and it was 
one of the worst things that I've ever been through um, because the withdrawals were so bad and I, my mood swings were out of control. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I told Dion at one point in time, I was like, I would not blame you if you left me because I did not want to be around myself. And I didn't know when um, that would end. I didn't know how long this would go on. And when I started doing some research, I was finding stories from people that said the withdrawals were so bad that they went back on the medication. And I was like, I don't want to do that. And that was really a, a huge breaking point for me because I'm like, I have to do something. I have to look at more maybe natural ways of trying to do things, um, which I, I did. I really started working on my myself, my personal development. Um, but then I was also searching out more uh, natural ways of healing and, and things like that too. But I was trying some stuff and helped a little bit, but I was at a point in my life where I was becoming frustrated because I just, I just wanted to feel good. And yeah. You know, I jump in here because we rely on our doctors mm -hmm. and, and again, I, I, I work in the medical, well, I'm a maintenance guy in a hospital, so I'm around it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I do have some friends that are in it and, and I know their hearts are in it, but, they are just practicing medicine no different than that baseball player is practicing his I, I know it's a little more serious than the baseball player practicing a swing or it's no different than me working on an, uh, heating and air conditioning equipment it's their job right mm -hmm. they're practicing and you go in unsuspecting just like myself and anyone else that takes their family member to a doctor and we just assume they do have our best interest at heart mm -hmm. But a lot of times they're experimenting too. Mm -hmm. Hey, try this because it worked on this guy, not knowing for sure whether it's going to work on you. Mm -hmm. And and the side effects, like you say, the information's out there for us. If if we don't find it out for ourselves, it's on us as individuals anymore because it's available to anybody mm -hmm. by simply getting on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry not to interrupt your story. I just want to bring that out there because we do. We take it for granted that what they're giving us is going to fix us mm -hmm. and it's going to help us. And it does um, mm -hmm. maybe at the moment, but just like ibuprofen, look at the side effects, right? Oh my gosh. And I was buying ibuprofen in like the biggest bottles that I could find. That's how I started out with uh, every morning was taking ibuprofen. And another um, problem that I was dealing with was I had horrible, uh, painful swelling and inflammation in my feet and ankles to where when I got out of bed in the mornings, I couldn't even put my feet flat on the floor. And so I just had like, I was just a hot mess. Let's just call it that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was through a networking group and talk about the law of attraction because it was through a networking group that I had joined where we met once a week. So you really got to know the people within that group. And that's where I had met Dr. Bobby Whitaker. And, you know, we had gotten to know one another. And she just, like, offered me this sample one day. This, she told me just to mix it with water. She just gave me one sample to try. Um, what I did was, uh, after some bad experiences with other things, I went home and I researched Moringa Olifera. And to be honest, when I was reading about it, I thought it was too good to be true. Because at this point in time, too, I, um, as part of more of a natural way of trying to heal myself, I was taking... Um, a ton of supplements, like natural supplements, but I was, and I should have had the bag with me. I, I don't, but I carried around a backpack 
full of supplements that I would take three times a day. And I was taking probably about 30 pills or so per day. And even my husband was like, Rach, this cannot be good for you. He goes, even if it's natural, or whatever, this can't be good for you. And I'm like, well, I don't know what else to do. I was you know, frustrated and I was doing everything that I, I knew that I thought I could do to just try to feel better. And so when, when Dr. Bobby gave me this and I did my research, I figured I had nothing to lose. And that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a shot. And the first day, you know, I mixed it with water. Um, it's green. <laughs> It looks like, I call it swamp water. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't taste like swamp water, though, I promise. Um, but I just, I was committed to, I was like, I'm going to give this three months. I stopped everything else I was doing. I'm like, I'm going to give this at least three months. And this was the only thing that I started off with. And within the first month, I was noticing that I wasn't taking as much ibuprofen and I was starting to feel better. And I was like, there's something to this. And so it was probably, you know, I didn't track everything really well, but it was probably within the second or third month that I asked my husband to come on board with me and when I said when I first started, it wasn't even for the weight loss because the weight that I had gained from the anxiety medicine, I had tried different things to, to get that weight off and nothing worked. So I had it in my head that the weight was just going to be there. I was going to have to live with that, but I just wanted to feel better. And this gave me, it gave me hope because it was the first thing and something so simple. And I was starting to notice a difference and I was starting to feel better. And I had this brain fog that started to lift. And when you, you feel better, everything else in life just seems a little bit better. So, Right, the way you look at things really impacts how you experience life. Yeah, and so my husband, you know, came on board with me, and he started noticing that, um, and it was one of those things that, for me, because I had so many different issues going on, um, I was really paying attention, really kind of tracking how I felt, and with him, he just he was run down. He works a lot of hours. He was tired. And, but he also had some knee pain. And I'll never forget the, the day that I got out of bed. <laughs> and as I said earlier, when I got out, when I would first get out of bed, uh, I couldn't even put my feet flat on the floor because it was just the swelling and the inflammation and I just hurt. And I'll never forget the first morning that I got out of bed and put my feet flat on the floor. Like I stopped. I was like, that did not just happen. And, <laughs> and I didn't even say anything that first day because I'm like, I, I, I just have imagined something. So the next day before I got up, I'm like, okay, I'm paying attention and got up. And I was just I believe I started crying a little bit because when you're getting out of bed in the mornings and you're in pain and then all of a sudden you get up one morning and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel better. And I didn't really talk to Dion about it until like later that night or something. And I was, I was telling him and he was like, you know, he said, I knelt down for something and I got up and my knees didn't hurt. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and so we just started, you know, feeling better. And that was, I mean, three, for me, it was about three and a half years ago that I started. And now to kind of fast forward um, to where we're at now is our lives are so much different. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, 
Um, no, that's all right. I I appreciate I appreciate you. This is pretty tough to come forward and share the experiences. You, I mean, that's something people just don't talk about. Well, I am. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, so he's down um, like forty pounds. I'm down thirty pounds, but I feel like that I have my life back. It's improved my health, and I'm actually I am happy. Uh, I get up in the mornings and I'm, for the most part, excited about what the day is going to bring. I've been able to strengthen my relationship with God. I really poured myself into personal development. And for the, you know, I can, I can say that I look forward to what the future holds and am really excited about things. And now do I still have times when I get down and things like that? Yes. Um, but it's nowhere like it used to be. And I had somebody ask me one day that knew that I, depression, it's something I'm always going to deal with. It's always going to be there, but nowhere near like it used to be. And I had somebody ask me one day that, that was familiar with my story. And she said, when you're, when you're depressed, when you're going, when I was really going through the really, really hard times with my depression, she said, did you know why you were depressed? And I was like, no. I said, it's not, it's not something that you can pinpoint and say, you know, this is the reason why I am hurting. And that's the hardest thing I, I think for some people to understand is that when you are dealing with true depression, you don't know why you're depressed because you can't. And that makes somebody... it, yeah. that makes it yeah, even worse. Yeah, and because you you don't know, you can't you can't say it's this, it's that. It's just this feeling inside of you that is so empty and so sad and so broken. And now I can say that that's that's not there. I mean, when I get a little down now, it's usually because of something. Um, or if I'm a little bit down, it's like I know things that I can do to help bring me out of it and this is why I've become so passionate about this um this journey this mission <laughs> uh, because I know what giving our bodies the nutrition it needs can do and we are not getting that from the foods that we eat you know, Rachel, I do a lot of these lives and, and, and bring people and interview them. And for my friends that are watching, I do it for a specific reason in hopes that maybe I can get you to open your eyes and see what's available out there because there are natural alternatives to a lot of the over-the-counter medications that we're taking. I'm not saying that Moringa Oliveira is um, going to heal a disease or solve a problem, but when you give the body the nutrition it needs, I believe that God gave us a wonderful instrument that will take care of itself and restore itself if it's given the pr uh, proper fuel, so to speak, the right nutrition. Mm -hmm. Now, you're no longer in newspaper or newspaper and radio ads, right? You've mm -hmm. moved on to other things, and we talked prior to the live. Maybe you could share with the folks, and I know that you are really knowledgeable on Moringa Oliveira because you did some research before you actually dove into it. Mm -hmm. Share with us, uh, what do you think? I, to me, uh, I talked to a nutritionist a couple weeks ago, and the big thing that she shared with me is the nine essential amino acids that we require uh, mm -hmm. to maintain our bodies, to, to help regulate blood sugar levels, something as simple as that. And we can't get that from our food sources. And Moringa Oliveira, my super mix is right here somewhere, right? <laughs> this has got 20 of them. Yeah, 20 of them and they're natural, which means they're ingested into our bloodstream right down to the cellular level. So we are giving it what it needs mm -hmm. just by drinking a mix. Uh, it's mm -hmm. incredible. But what you do now, would you share with everybody and, and maybe some of your expertise in the Moringa Oliveira? Um, yeah. So it's kind of crazy, again, how that law of attraction, how things work out. Um, 
So, that, sorry if you may hear my, my, I think my husband just got home. The dogs are going crazy. <laughs> uh, I told you that might happen. Um, yeah. But, uh, so Dr. Bobby and, and her husband, Dr. Jason Whitaker, have their chiropractic business. And then they have a, um, a weight loss clinic. But it's, it's more than just weight loss. Um, they do utilize these products because they know how beneficial they are to people. And they, um, it's, it's about health. It's not just about dropping a few pounds. It's, it's truly about helping people improve their health and their lives. And so they, they brought me on board as their wellness coordinator so that way I can work with people uh, and educate them about the products, you know, get them to really understand the importance of the Moringa and also detoxing. And we can talk about the detox tea if you want. And, and also what I really strive to do too is work with people on doing that personal development because what goes on up here plays such a major role in our lives and Amen. with what we're thinking what we're saying that it truly can be life-changing when you start when you start putting all this together in a package uh, and, that's cool that's cool would you mind uh so for my friends that are watching the video that will be watching the video just share, why should we use Moringa Oliveira? I mean, I've went over it, but maybe coming right. from you, they'll listen, right? Well, uh, one of the, my favorite benefit of the Moringa Oliveira is the 36 anti-inflammatories. And 80%, it's probably over 80% of all diseases are caused from inflammation. And I know when I look back at, pictures of me, I can see that my body was just filled with inflammation. And you're all puffy. You I was, see yeah. it in their cheeks, right? Yeah, it was puffy. My eyes were like really, you know, small and things like that. And, and the thing is, like I said, we are not getting that nutrition and the things that we need from the foods that we eat because that it's it's so depleted so when you have and this is it's not a supplement it's it's food it is nutrition and it there's nothing better i believe that there's nothing better that you can put in your body but this and the thing is is that you can't you know you can't just go out and buy some capsules that say it has moringa in it you know, because it's not the same. You're going to be taking about 300 capsules a day. You know, take the time and do the research because with this Moringa here, it they use the leaves, the seeds, and the fruit, which is so important. Plus, it is um, the leaves, they're shade dried. So that is an extensive process to do that. But the thing is, there's other companies that they may use the leaves, but then they are putting it out in the sun or they are using lamps or whatever it is to dry it out so they can get through that process quicker. But then it depletes all the nutrition from, from everything. So, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure that people think that I'm kind of crazy when it comes to this stuff. But when I see people every day that it is helping and i know the changes that it's made in my life and my husband's life and so many other people's lives it's like people need to know and what people decide to do even you know it's it's their choice but people need to know and they need to know Amen. that there's a difference there there is something out there that will help yeah for sure and you know i really believe you know, I heard that thing about the 20 amino acids. And for me and my family history, my, my grandfather passed away in his 80s with Alzheimer's. My dad passed away in his 70s with Alzheimer's. Well, you know, just the natural progression of things. I got to watch what I say, right? Because I believe in the power of attraction too as well. So I, I don't say that, but you know where I'm going with this. Mm -hmm. So 
I want to find a way to protect myself. Mm -hmm. And what I've found with the 20 amino acids, amino acids are very essential for brain health. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, there's other things too, the antioxidants. I think there's like 43 antioxidants. It's got omega-3, 6, and 9 yeah, in it as well. 40, Thanks, Noel. 46, yeah, 46 antioxidants it has. So, and you know, the nutritionist I interviewed, when I said 46 antioxidants, she said, you mean anti-carcinogens? Because they're also a great fight against cancer as well. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there is a lot of power to Moringa oleifera. And don't take our word for it. I, we're sharing our stories. And the reason why I'm bringing people on is to open your eyes and make you aware, hey, there's something out there. Maybe we need to look into this because it truly is impacting lives. I mean, Rachel, you are you see it every day and, and the mm -hmm. job that you've got now. Could, perhaps you could share a couple stories, maybe some big changes that you've seen. Um, yeah, we've had people. And before I get into that real quick, I do just I want to say that, you know, this and as you touched on too, this, it doesn't heal. It's, it's giving our body the nutrition it needs and that our bodies are amazing really. And it gives, our bodies can self correct when we give it the nutrition that it needs. And I always tell people, because I do this, there's no guarantees. I mean, I had cancer once in my life. There's no guarantees I'm not gonna get it again, but it's about prevention. And I know that I'm doing everything in my power that if for some reason I, I would were to get cancer again or whatever it is, that my body is going to be in the best shape to fight it. And sorry, I just had to throw that no, in No, no, that's good. That's good. And, I appreciate that. But, um, but some of the things that I've seen, it's uh, people, I've seen people come off different medications. Some of them are uh, diabetics and have been able to come off medication. And see, the thing is, it's, um, it's, it's what we eat too. You cannot just take this and then continue to go get your fast food and eat junk. Okay, there's a correlation. <laughs> you, you do have to, you know, make some changes other ways too but it's so but, much easier because because the moringa oleifera well uh, your body is what's the word uh, it's satisfied right your mm -hmm. cells are getting the nutrition that that they desire so mm -hmm. the hunger that you experience and the reason why you eat more than what you normally eat i mean i should back up the reason why people overeat now is because the body is desiring nutrition and it's not getting it from the food we eat so people tend to eat more to mm -hmm. try to meet that demand because the body's saying, hey, I need more, I need more, I need more. Mm -hmm. But when we give it the proper nutrition and we meet that need, mm -hmm. we, um, we, we're less hungry. We don't eat as much or as often. Mm -hmm. And I found it easier to be more selective about what I ate yes. because I wasn't answering that craving. I was eating because I, I should eat. Right. And um, another thing is that a lot of people have, reported that once they start where they were drinking a ton of soda per day, like sometimes even like a 12 pack of soda per day, that that was easier, that craving went away. And so they were able to, to change that up. And that's huge because soda, right. I mean, is so damaging. And so just being able to make those changes, but then other people are coming in and they're saying that they ha they're, have more energy, they're sleeping better. Um, and like I said, coming, being, being able to come off different medications, um, even the blood, uh, blood pressure has gone down. And, oh gosh, I just, there's so many different things out there. Um, but those are a few of the big ones, especially about being able to come off different medications and just start to feel better overall. And what I try to, to explain to people is that it's going to get better. I mean, I started this journey three and a half years ago, and it just keeps getting better and better and better. And I'm 45, I'll be, I'm 45 right now. And I feel, I feel better than I truly ever have. So that's why I just encourage people 
that yes, it's an investment in your health, but look at the alternative. And if you're not doing anything as a preventative, then what happens when you when you do get sick and you're you're having to you know you may lose your job or you're having all these you know medical bills and different things like that so you know i'll i'll make the investment in myself and do what i can yeah. now that's really cool you know i'd share a story no i can't do that my wife would be upset at me if i said something about my life but you know an ounce of prevention Oh, wow. I, I'm 54, so just, you know, I'm a little bit older than you, but it's really important to me now because I got grandkids coming and I want to be able to experience them. I want to enjoy them. I see Marlene's jumped on. I want to be able to set up the pool for the kids and let them play <laughs> in the summer. And I want to be a part of their lives. Yeah. Um, you know, I work in a healthcare facility where we have long-term care. And when I mm -hmm. see those, those poor folks stuck in that in that room and and then they're not going anywhere. I mean, that's, that touches my heart. I want to do what I can do for myself because it's not about me only. It influences and affects my children and my wife. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we're going to get, continue to do these lives. And if people don't want to watch this fine, I'm going to keep throwing it out there because Moringa Olafera is so important and it really is impacting people's lives. And I want to thank you so much because your story, I know that was hard to share. That was hard to share. I just love to see you smile, though. I mean, that makes <laughs> – there you go. See, that's what it's all about because it, it cleared the fog and it helped you overcome the depression. I really believe yeah. that. And, and, geez, bless you for – I know what your mission is because it's very similar to mine. We have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing your story. And, Rachel, continue oh. to plug forward. I appreciate I appreciate the opportunity and because it's um, people need to know because I believe that there are a lot of people out there that are where I once was with struggling maybe with some health issues but also with the depression and the anxiety and you don't you feel like you are fighting that battle alone? Because I know that's how I felt. And that's why I want to, that's why I put my story out there. And I have put out the whole story now. I mean, <laughs> everything. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's anything left to my story. That's all out there in the open because I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be at rock bottom and not having any hope. And that's what I want to give to people is hope and let them believe that there is more out there and that there are people out there that have gone through what they're going through, have fought it and, um, you know, I, I'm always I'm always available for anybody to reach out to to talk to. You're an incredible lady. I thank you so much again for coming on and sharing your story. And if anybody needs more information or wants more information on Marine Affair, it's real simple. Um, yeah, take Siri or or yeah. Google, right? Just ask them the most ask what the most nutritious plant in the world is. Um, but keep in mind. As Rachel shared earlier, there is a difference. Not all Moringa is the same. So if you're going out looking, we're biased, right? It's, we've partnered with Zija and the National Health Revolution, and it's our point um, of emphasis, our focus, is to get the word out. There are natural alternatives, and they are making a major impact in people's lives. So it, any more information is. you would need, uh, drop something down in the comments. Reach out to Rachel. You can find her on Facebook. Uh, you can Rachel Lucas Clark, and I'm available as well. Thanks for okay. watching, everybody. Um, Go ahead, can I Rachel. Add, add in one yeah. something real quick here. Um, sure. My husband was very skeptical when I first started this, and now he is a true believer and helps spread the message too, and has been out to Utah with me. And once he was, he got out there, he saw what what goes on 
how much this is changing people's lives, there was just a big transition even with him. I mean, and, and he, he, he will, he'll be the first to say, we will never go without this. So. Yeah, you, you bring up a good point there. I don't want to close without kind of putting on this, the exclamation point on this. I don't think people realize when we say Zija is the Moringa company, Zija has been around for over 10 years. I think it's 12 years now. Mm -hmm. And when you buy their product and they say it's got that in it, it's got it that in it. It's yeah. tested. It's run through many uh, quality control issues or quality control practices. So you know what you're getting when you're buying mm -hmm. the Zija Moringa. Yeah. Unlike yeah. uh, what's also available out there. I'm sure it's available out there. If you find, mm -hmm. if you look, you can find it. You can find it. Yeah. Well, hey, so, I don't want to keep keep you up all night yeah. and keep you on here any longer. I hope your Bears have a better season than my Bengals <laughs> do this next year. <laughs> <laughs> and keep plugging along. Thank you so much, Rachel. I really oh, no, appreciate it. Thank you. you so much. And thank you for everybody that has logged on. And for those of you that are catching the replay, we, uh, we both really appreciate it. Yep. Hashtag replay. If you're watching the replay, we do appreciate that. And it, we do appreciate the comments where you're watching from. It's kind of cool to see where all yeah. the videos go to, right? So yeah. Well, have a great evening. Thanks for talking with me. And uh, we'll talk soon. Yes, definitely. Have a good night. Good night.